So a couple of months ago, I did a home server for my daughter so she can use for school and some videos and to save some pictures there. And today she actually asked me how she can do something like this because she's interested. So I said how easy it is and now she wants to build it, making a video about it. So the thing that she's going to use will be a Raspberry Pi 4, micro SD card of 128 gigabyte, and she's going to use an external hard drive to get more storage and set it up for her needs. So are you excited to try? Yes. So let's jump into the video and see if she can make it or not. The first thing you have to do is open the Raspberry Imager. Choose the device that you have. I have a Raspberry Pi 4. Choose the operating system and you go to others because the first three had an interface. Then you choose the storage. Make sure you choose the storage that you want to put on so you don't overwrite one that you don't want to. Edit settings. Now, you put a username, I'm just going to put test, then you put a password. Now, if you use Ethernet, you don't have to complete this step, so you can just um, not tick it. But I'm not, so I have to Maybe just complete the rest. Now services, make sure to enable SSH. And here are some other options. You just click save, then press yes. Yes again. Now, because it's finished, you just press continue. Now you take the micro SD card, plug it in the Raspberry Pi, and then just turn it on. Now, because it's turned on, you open terminal. Then you put SSH space, your username, and I put test the at symbol and your IP address and you press enter now you say yes because it's just asking you if you want to continue then you put your password now you want to update it and you put sudo space apt space update now it's just gonna Search for any update. Now, because you finished searching for update, you just put the same thing sudo space apt space. This time, you're going to put up upgrade. Now, you just wait for your Raspberry Pi to upgrade. Now, because it's finished upgrading, you just go on Google or on Safari and you write. Casa OS. This should come up and you just press here to copy this link. Now you go right click, then you paste, then you just enter. Now you just wait for it to finish downloading. Now your server is installed. You can just go on Safari, then put your IP address. Mine's already put. Then welcome to your server. You just press go you give it a username this username can be different from the one you gave at the start to the raspberry pi i'm just gonna put my name and server i'm gonna password accept now i just want to make a file for my pictures i just go on files i right click and i add new f new folder now name it pictures. Now, if I want to share it so I can be able to access it from another like device, you click share. Submit. Now, if you want to make any of these like shareable, you just right click and then share. Now, if I just want to put a picture in, I just click on it, then drag and drop different pictures. Now to connect to the server, you go on Finder, go, then connect to server, you put smb two dot slash slash, then your IP address, connect. Now, I didn't set up any um, security, so I just put guest, then connect. Now here, I have all my pictures that, that I just saved in the picture folder. Now, if you want to install any apps, you just go on App Store, 
then you have here different apps for whatever you need. You have like Chrome, like down here. Then you have Jellyfin for movies. For example, if I want Image to um, back up all my pictures, I just click install. And then here it's gonna install. Now if I click on Image here, I can just set it up so it can back up all my photos from every single device that I have. So how's your experience doing your first home server? It was okay, it was hard. Some parts were hard and some parts were like quite easy. Yeah. Will you do it again? Yes. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video and if a 15 year old with no experience in computing can do it, I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to do it as well. See you guys in the next one. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.